I was thinking about how, you know, the new science. Uh, we sometimes talk about quantum physics, you know, now has proven what we already knew spiritually and that kind of thing. So what I thought was this. What's actually happened is so, so, so much more than that. Because through quantum physics and understanding the nature of reality as far as matter and energy and, the cons and how that is consistent with what we've always known spiritually, a shift gets to happen for humanity in which we are a more integrated people. We're more whole than we were before because we have a greater understanding of reality. And that understanding isn't just based in a spiritual knowing and representation of reality, but it is all of reality, every bit of it. And there's so many other things happening um, on the physical plane, but what if we went about remembering all the time that underlying everything that's happening on the physical plane, underlying all circumstances, all apparent limitations, all challenges and projects and relationships, there is this unified field of being that is the foundation that is always there for us to rest in. When I rest in that, and you rest in that, we are in that oneness together. I was thinking about how our thoughts and feelings, consciousness, is the greatest avenue to support our connection to that. So if our thoughts are illuminated thoughts, enlightened thoughts, thoughts that are um, at one with, in alignment with that source of universal being, then as we know, our reality shifts. We met our manifestation in form um, becomes completely powerful. We can, everything that's possible is available to us when our thoughts shift to enlightened and illuminated thoughts, but also when our feelings shift. So we you know, we say gratitude is a beautiful spiritual practice. It's because it fills the heart with love. And a heart that is filled with love feels all kinds of love-based um, emotions as opposed to fear-based emotions. And in that state of enlightened thinking and enlightened feeling, we are connected with that underlying foundation, the source of being that lies underneath everything. And in being connected to that, we are that, we are one with that. And in being that I am presence, we are the all that is. We are the one true living God and we are oneness 